marketing page, which is comicrelief.com slash fish. Give whatever you can. And um, we're very excited to move on to our next guest. Um, he's all the way in New Zealand. There's a bit of a lag, so I'm going to introduce him. He's going to pop on the screen, but he might not react for a second or two. So we'll see what happens there. But um, please welcome to the show. It is probably, I, in my opinion, the funniest man alive. He is the star of the rebooted Jumanji movies. He is Murray, the manager from Flight of the Concords. He's in What We Do in the Shadows. There are so many things that he does, but what he does best is him. It is Reese Darby. Woo! Hey! There's that lag. Oh, he's just hearing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's that comedy. Here I am with my leg. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. This okay. is going to be fun. So uh, it is time for fact number 11. Reese, what is your fact? My fact is, American President Benjamin Harrison's grandson was once stolen by a goat. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Can we get some context as to how this happened? How? Mm. how? Yes, and this comes from, uh, and I'd like to read, if I could, some copy from uh, The Atlantic. Uh, It's a case that happened a long, long time ago, of course, uh, we're talking about uh, the, the president that was inaugurated in 1889. Uh, so this, I'll read some of this if I can, because it's a jolly good story. Uh, it, uh, in 1903, the now defunct Washington Evening Star published a story simply titled An Exciting Race When President Harrison Took After a Billy Goat. Uh, So basically, yeah, here's some background. President Benjamin Harrison, the 23rd commander in chief of the United States, who certainly was a kick-ass grandpa. After his inauguration uh, with his first lady, they moved into the White House and they took their grandchildren with them to live with them in the White House. The kids were doted on. President Harrison would dress up as Santa Claus at Christmas time and personally waited on them at birthday parties. The children sat in high chairs waiting for the president to serve them cake. When it came to dinner at the Harrison White House, the president's toddler grandson was seated directly to him in a high chair. That same toddler, one Christmas, uh, is said to have received a full suit of armor as a present. So that gives you some (laughs) context as how much these grandchildren were doted on by by the president. Now, it gets even better. Uh, The president kept a pet goat for the kids. Uh, Yeah, its name was Old Whiskers, and the animal was harnessed so it could ferry the children around on a tiny cart. (laughs) I can't tell if it's real. I can't tell if what Reese is reading is real. or This is all real, guys. It's all real. (laughs) Reese, you have... have, Uh, Sorry, go on with the story. Yeah, I'll, I'll just get through this if you if you don't mind. <laughs> the evening sorry, the evening star's source for the story was an anonymous Treasury Department staffer who's recalling this incident about ten years after Harrison <laughs> left office. Okay, so this is second, possibly third or or fifty eighth hand information here. Uh, but on the day of the great goat chase, Harrison had been supervising his grandson Benjamin McKee on the White House lawn. Old Whiskers was ferrying the little boy around as per usual. Then, without warning, the goat started down Executive Avenue on a brisk canter. The Treasury staffer recalled, What spooked the old goat is unknown to this day. (laughs) President Harrison, a stout man in his late 50s, went after the animal. The goat went faster and the president quickened his steps. Okay. Old Whiskers oh. turned his head toward <laughs> the approaching president. Well, that was it. The goat accelerated to a full bore run down Executive Avenue, heading directly towards a construction excavation site. Poor baby McKee! This was a child <laughs> who sat next to the president at dinner. I mean, come on. Harrison knew he had to save that little boy. Halfway down, the president and goat were each doing his level best. The staffer's yarn continues as thusly Reese 
uh, continues. The president's <laughs> coattails shot straight out behind and the patter of his feet on the concrete pavement sounded for all the world like a woodpecker's attack on a soft maple in early spring. For a moment, the president and the goat were neck and neck. But finally, President Harrison made a spurt and by a brilliant coup, caught the bridle of the fleeting uh, billy goat just before the excavation site was reached. Phew! The child, unconcerned as could be, the staffer said. And the president, well, pretty well winded. So there you have it. There's the story. <laughs> we'll catch you later, mate. Uh, okay. See you later. Thanks. <laughs> Um, Reese, you actually. I'm actually pretty busy right now, so um, <laughs> all the best with it, and uh, 